Welcome back to Facilitation TV. Today we've got a different episode where we're going to sort of, I guess, freewheel a bit today in talking about preparing for and managing conflict. Margot, I'm going to open up with you. Talk to us about how you get yourself ready for a workshop where you suspect this might be going on, but you need to find out a bit more. Mm. First of all, I'd say if you've got a bit of a hunch that something's going on, it probably is. Uh, so prepare for it. Um, I'd ask the person that I was working with to run the workshop, you know, like, what's going on? Have you got much conflict going on there? Mostly the answer will be, oh, no, no, no. Not doesn't ever happens here in this organisation. So then I'd put it in, uh, you know, talk a bit more, and then I'd drop in another question, like, you know, well, how does the IT manager get on with the engineering group? And then, oh, they can't stand each other. Well, then you start to unpack some of that. Um, if possible, it's probably good to do uh, a bit of pre um, calling around or talking to someone from each group. Sometimes you might have that opportunity and other times you don't because the conflict just emerges when you're actually in the meeting. Yep. Mm. What about you, Andrew? Um, in that preparation phase, some of the other mm. things I use are things like an online, quick, on, brief, very brief online survey yeah. for, mm. to find out what staff's attitudes and feelings are. Brief how many questions? Uh, three minute response max. Okay. Mm. That way mm. people will do it. Yeah. Um, anything longer, you, you're dreaming. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, so that's probably one of the, the first ways. And when I'm getting into the actual workshop itself, mm. I do some setup stuff. One of my favourite go-tos is the above the line concept. And if you can just picture drawing a line on a, on a flip chart, a horizontal line right in the middle there, and above writing the word responsibility. Mm. One of my favourite words. Mm -hmm. And getting people into the mindset of taking responsibility for their actions, their thoughts, their words and their behaviours and thinking of that in the perspective that's being a forward thinking, looking at what the opportunities are. Mm. And underneath that line, underneath responsibility, I write two other words, which is lay blame and justify. So I ask people to be thinking about any time in that meeting where they're pointing the finger at someone else or justifying bad behaviour. And I, I context that again by saying usually when you're below the line, you're um, either stuck in a current position or you're looking backwards into something that happened before. Then I contrast the two of them because when you're above the line, you've got the opportunity to influence what's about to happen. When you're below the line, you can't change what's happened in the past. So I get people to really think from that construct and the amount of times that that light bulb's just gone on for people, it's just been fantastic. Mm, mm. Great you, model. You set the expect. I've seen you do that and you set the expectation yeah. and people by and large rise to it. Yeah. which is terrific. The other thing I've seen you do, which is terrific, is the ropes. Yeah, yeah. love the ropes. And the ropes are respect, openness, preparedness. Um, experience. experience. Share your experience. And the most important one, I reckon, is to share the air. That's it. Yeah. And if share the air means that you all get equal time to speak. And if it's yeah. up there on the board, I've seen it, you work with that very effectively, and if someone's speaking for too long, you can kind of go, oh, we're sharing the air here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I just get people to say, use two of your most vital bodily organs, which is um, your mouth and your ears, and be really conscious of the balance between the two. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Yeah. Any time for you when you're in the space, when the conflict emerges, some of the things you've uh, tried that... No, uh, conflict emerging is, is quite... Uh, First of all, I think you have to manage it in yourself as yeah. a facilitator. So kind of in, don't react to it is a really important... Uh, don't let that conflict trigger your um, reaction buttons because if you start getting in there, um, it, can be, it can derail the whole meeting. So pause for a minute. If necessary, uh, tell the group, um, we're just going to take a short, you know... Um, break here so you can get a drink and change positions or whatever. Gives you just a moment to think and kind of go, breathe, yeah. <laughs> what's going on here? Um, quite often the conflict will be deep-seated or from the past. It won't actually be in this situation, but the person in conflict is using the opportunity to get even with someone yeah. or to voice it or to have their say and take a grandstand. So... Uh, Pull it back, pull it back, get your own centre back again and then kind of come in and if you've set your ground rules, your ropes and you've rubbed the line 
and you've also set the framework for the meeting. So today we're actually talking about blah, blah, and it seems that, you know, uh, so-and-so here's got some, you know, you've, you've got a few issues coming from here. Um, they're probably from the past. Is it possible for you to, uh, or no, I wouldn't actually say is it possible because they, that might give them a chance to keep going. I'd say, can I invite you to actually park that for today, for this discussion, and we'll just get on with doing this, and then your conflict is, you know, we're, we're taking notice, but we just can't deal with it in this situation. Um, have you tried something else that might have worked? Um, probably variations on that approach. Mm. And sometimes in a break, I've gone up to the person and, and asked them how, how things are going for them today and, mm. and try to have that one-on-one -on -one approach to, to really show that, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Mm. We just need to talk about how we're going to manage it today. Mm. And, mm. and sometimes there hasn't been any overt conf conflict, but you, you see the big the arm folds and yeah. you get into the death stare yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And you see that, great clues. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'd rather, in, in terms of a workshop process, I'd rather have conflict happen bang up front so you can deal with it, deal with the tough issues and then get down to business. So mm. otherwise it can just be an undercurrent mm. that's just bubbling away, ready to just go bang at any stage. And, that's right. Mm. And that can have everyone on edge. So, mm. Mm. so I always work with the client to find out what's likely to explode and can we get it done and dusted earlier on? Yeah. And, and not be concerned, not be afraid of it, just mm. it's part of the deal. Mm. Mm. So. And in a situation where, or, um, which I've had, and everything else fails, one person just keeps coming back, coming back, coming yeah. back, I would use the power of the group. Yeah. yeah. Check with the group. Okay, so-and-so seems to be continuing to want to talk about this. Can I just get a show of hands here as to if that's the direction that other people want to go in? Yeah. You'd, I'd pull that out as a last resort. Yeah. Because um, by that, and usually the, the, the rest of the group is pretty cheesed off with that person dominating by then. The chances are that they actually want to, they've come there, they've abused their, given their time, they want to discuss the issue that's going Yeah, on. and you've mm. given them the opportunity to exit with grace. So, yeah, yeah. So mm. I think that's, that's, it's about fairness to yeah. people at yeah. that stage. Yeah, indeed. I cool. agree. Great yeah. tips. Yeah. None thanks. of them have made me angry. It's really good. <laughs> well done. And thanks. <laughs> and thanks everyone for joining us today. And certainly if you've got any further questions about conflict and working with groups, please feel free to get in touch with us here at the Facilitators Inner Circle. And look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Facilitation TV. Thanks, guys. Bye.